everybody, my name is Jared, and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome to a game called Runo. Now, I don't know that much about this game. I do believe it is set in some Finnish folklore, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks really, really cool. And that's oftentimes more than enough than I need to go on, so without further ado, let's dive straight into Runo and see what is in store. <laughs> No one has been to the family cottage since Grandma passed away. Uh-oh. After everything that has happened. Perhaps coming here is a fresh start. Ooh. Okay, bye, bus. Thank you, bus driver. Oh, wow. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. We're in a forest. Ooh, it's... And I, I'm pretty sure this is set in Finland, I think? Happy Midsummer. Remember to take the right at the junction. Well, I can't go left. Oh, I can respond. I know that, Dad. I've been here before. Or, thanks. Where are you and Mom again? Or, it's been years since I've last visited the cottage, but it's not like I would forget. Well, let's not be a complete dick. We don't know that much about us, and we don't know that much about our parents or anything, so let's just say thanks where are you guys at. Now, this is so cool. Camera. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, wow, we can take old Nokia-style cell phone camera pictures. That's amazing. Remember, it's like, the, okay, I, okay, I hit the, hit, take a ride at the junction, we did that, we responded to a text, but we have not received a text in return. I, I remember when we walked this road, Grandma and, and I, Grandmama and I, journal. Oh, my goodness. Many Finns have a strong emotional connection with the road that leads to their cottage, often linked to pleasant childhood memories and summer holidays spent away from the mundane. The cottage road signals the beginning of relaxation. Ah. I remember when I last walked this dirt road. From here, I would run barefoot straight into the lake. Ha. Huh, too old now. No. Never be too old for fun. I have wanted to come here for so long. Something has kept me away hearing the birds and the wind of the trees makes me hopeful. Slowly, I feel my shoulders falling back. Still, I ache in my chest. Still, the ache in my chest lingers. I can almost see the cottage. Interesting. We got a gallery from the pictures that we take. This is kind of starting to remind me of, like, Firewatch. Oh, there's a bird. I want to take a picture with a bird. How close can I get before it flies away, though? No! Oh, you... You little stinker. Let's see, did we get him? I don't think we got him. <laughs> I think I think that I think he got away. Can I delete? I'm embarrassed. I'm a professional photographer. Space to jump. Oh look, an old Volkswagen. Can I do something with it? Oh, it's grandpapa's old beetle. Rusting away like my life. Gosh. Don't be like that. Too many people set expectations upon what it is meant to live a full life. Never set expectations, because you might be like this guy towards the end and be all disappointed. Ooh. Runo. Oh, I like this. I'm getting, like, Firewatch slash, um, What Remains of Edith, Edith Finch, um, vibes from this game. And those are all good vibes, because those were both really good games. Ah, lovely walk through the forest to our cottage. What could be better? Still no response from mom and dad. That's not great. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, keep an eye out for grandma's journal. We couldn't find it last fall, but no sweat. If you don't find it, she had a knack for hiding stuff. It'll turn up eventually. When grandma passed away, it shook something in me. I needed to be here tonight. Okay, okay. I'm... I'm admittedly ignorant of Finnish folklore. For the most part, so... Sauna. Maybe later. Oh, but sauna now. Can we go take a dip? What a lovely location. We cannot take a dip. Can we go take a poo? The age-long question. A small shed for your business. What about this drawing, though? That is not the drawing that I would want to see while I'm pooing. I don't want to, even if I can now. Whoa, creepy. Yeah, just a bit. I'd rather not open it. <laughs> yeah, let's just, uh, let's just... 
Let's pretend we didn't see any of that. Logs. Oh, I can pick up logs and I can throw logs. We must have to start a fire at some point. We'll remember that for later. But for now, let's check in at this lovely little cottage. Oh, isn't it lovely? All right, let's just go in. It's locked. Where's the key? Probably under the mat. No? Would have been too easy. Dang it! Ow! Oh, Why did Grandma have to be so secretive? Container? Ah, only junk here. We don't need that container. Oh, but there's a map. Hey, Cousin Tano's own drawing of the area still exists. What's with the sound? It's like we're underwater. Weird. Do I not want to keep it? I guess not. Bye, map. It's gone forever. He went into the building. Can I sit? Oh, I can sit and pick up the flower pot inside the flower pot. Uh, maybe? How do I know? Where's the dang key? Grandma. Give me the key, flower pot. I can't actually throw things. It says throw, but you kind of just drop it. Where would Grandma keep the key? Why does she have to be like this? Can we go into the window? Where would someone keep a key? An old rock? Up in the rafters? A floorboard? Oh, I forgot to tell you that the keys are still in the usual place. Well, I don't remember. Oh, right. Hidden in the pile of logs. Fine. I thought we were going to have to start a fire with those pile of logs. I didn't know we were going to be looking for a dang key hidden in there. Who hides keys and logs? Oh, I see the keys right there. Ah! There we go. Time to go inside and take a nap. <laughs> We've worked so hard trying to get inside this dang place. What? I don't like that. I didn't like the sound the door made, and I don't like these. Ooh. Finally here. Ah. Summer Cottage, uh, Kesamoki. I'm going to probably mispronounce most of everything that is, like, native Finnish, and I apologize in advance. A summer Cottage in Finland is called a Moki. Most of Finns have... Most of Finns have access to one. Mokis are often on purpose less equipped than modern commodities, such as plumbing or electricity, and are close to forests, lakes, or the sea. Moki is a place for relaxation and spending time with family. Family-owned Mokis have usually been around for many generations and are filled with precious memorabilia. Nice little, nice little getaway here. Okay, now what? Look at this tapestry. Ooh. This image on the rug. What about it? Tapestry text. I love all this information. This is really fascinating. A long, tough tapestry dating as far back to the Viking times. The ornamented textile style is unique to Finnish tradition and later has revived folk art. Still hanging. When I was little, the images of the rug fueled my imagination in the night. No wonder, as they were the source of Grandma's bedtime stories. Of times that were and times that never passed, as she would introduce them. It was important to her to tell some tales over and over again, which I would not really understand. The same themes about the lake, the birds, and the midsummer night would always be present. As I grew older, I gradually lost interest in her stories. Why? They sound like really cool stories. Why would you just lose interest in them? That's horrible. Radio. Nothing beats old-fashioned Finnish schlager? I don't know what that means, but I hope it's not copyrighted. Oh, we'll take a nap. That was what that was our objective. Let's just do it. Let's just take a nap. Oh, welcome, traveler. You are finally awake. Oh. Hi, glowy bird. Whoa. We need you down here. Darkness has taken root. This is amazing. And I need better dreams. No, what do you mean? I am curious. We need you to come back. Make haste. Come back where? Follow me to Alanen, the realm of dreams beneath worlds. If this is a dream, then why do I feel restless? Dark roots are taking over. Take the sapling down before it is too late. Roots, what do you mean? Darkness is covering all ground and reaching for the skies. It must be stopped. This is really freaking cool. You have the strength of Vaki. You are more powerful than you dare to remember. I don't feel like I know myself anymore. So this is like a struggle between like our self-doubt and being the, having the strength of God or something. I don't know who Vaki is. 
don't, I'm, I don't want to wake up. This is really cool. I am waiting for you underneath it all. You will know what to do when the time comes. Oh, tree and glowing bird. Wow. This is so cool. I love this. Please come back. I'm sure we can work it out. I miss you. Don't spend midsummer alone. Oh, no. Did we come up here in a, a furious rage to get away from somebody? Please don't make it any harder than it is. Oh, no. Magpie. Can I start a fire yet? Can I examine the cantele? Why is this still here? I don't know. A cantele, a 2,000-year-old wooden string instrument known all around the Baltic Sea area in the Finnish national epic Cal Calvala, compiled by Elias Lonrot during the 1800th century, the hero... I will never pronounce that right. Makes a cantile out of the jawbones of a northern pike. Interesting. I love all this folklore information. A cookbook. There's a really good recipe for traditional beer in here. Oh, heck yeah. Save that for later. So, I guess we need to go find a tree? Ooh. We are tasting herring and spirits. Hey, remember to heat up the sauna. Oh, of course. I'll get the red bucket. Red bucket? He's right. Time to get some wood and fill the fill up the water bucket. Water bucket, you say? Where might there be a water bucket? Perhaps in the sauna. Old sauna makes me wonder. Another thing. Uh, I can't really read it. I think we need water, wood, and an oven. I mean, it's a sauna, so... Fill that bucket. My cousin often told me I can't read. My cousin often told me a tale about a woman in the lake who lured children to their doom. Seems so stupid now. Are you sure? Tales of sirens and creatures in the water have been told for centuries since the dawn of time. There must be some truth to it. Or not. Okay, bucket, what do I do with you? Use it on the stove? Or just place the bucket on the bench. Oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know. Let's go get some wood. Finally, we can start a fire. Get this sauna going. Do some relaxation. Chop down some mythical tree and keep the darkness from taking root. Now, let's put some wood for the... I thought I just did that. I bet you can't beat my record on the wooden block game next time we do. Wooden block game, Dad? Are you drunk again? I think I saw it on the porch. Game on, I'll turn my phone off now. <laughs> um, okay. Did we do it? Did we do what we needed to do? It said I needed to put f f wood in the, in the stove, but it, I clearly did that. What? Sorry for spamming and you just enjoy yourself. I missed my dad as a boy even when he was around. No one was the same after the war. Grandpa did his best. All I need is to be with my own thoughts. Thanks for your support, Dad. Yeah, sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you just need some peaceful reflection, relaxation. Am I supposed to go play the wooden block game? I think I saw something up here. Wooden blocks, wooden blocks, wooden blocks. Play the wooden block game. Time to beat the high school. What? Oh, it's like bowling? Pick up and throw a stick. Eh. Oh! You just did the best, right? I, I don't know the rules of this game. Yeah. Are we supposed to knock them all down, or is there a certain number we're supposed to reach? Eh. Oh. That was pretty sad. The new stove heats the sun up fast. I bet it's ready. I burned my toe on the old one as a kid. Grandma put a resin wrap around it, remember? Okay, I have a feeling Dad's not going to respond to that question, though. Yay, we won! We won the wooden block game, I guess. Let's go take a soak in the sauna. <laughs> Time to... Oh. Oh. Here we are. <gasps> Beer. Drink. Ah, beers and saunas. Probably not the best. Throw on stove. Let's get some more steam in here. I keep thinking about that bird from the dream. You should. It was important, wasn't it? Am I just supposed to keep drinking beer and putting water on the stove? 
can't move. Load it up. Load it up. Oh. Are we going to see a lady in the lake? Keep drinking and we will. <laughs> I used to visit my dreams as a kid all the time. Like lucid dreaming? Just going to sit here, drink my beer, and enjoy some quiet relaxation. Oh, back in the sauna. Dang. What a way to spend an evening. That's the stuff. Visit visiting the cottage is certainly stirring up some old memories. Indeed. I wonder if it's a choice between like continuing to drink beer or doing other things to, to progress everything. <laughs> ah, what a lovely place this is. We're drinking a lot of beer. Flower pot. I don't need this. Get out of here, flower pot. You didn't have the key. You betrayed me. I'm just gonna keep drinking beer until the sun go down. Remember this is a magical night. Here's a Midsummer's Night spell. Run around the cottage naked seven times and you will find love again. Might as well try. <laughs> Better give it a try. I could use a little magic. Oh, are we going to do that? Oh, well, let's just run around the cottage, I guess. I can't run, so this is going to take a second. <gasps> oh, a bird. The Chloe bird. I must have had a few beers too many. <sighs> now we follow the bird to our destiny. Lead me to the root of evil and I shall extinguish it. Hi. I feel a bit drunk. Should I be taking the boat? Heck yeah, we should. <laughs> Do I actually control it? I don't think that I do. What have we here? What is it? Mysterious rock painting. I definitely haven't seen this here before. Are you sure? Look deeply into it. Oh, the rings are pulsating? Oh my. Ooh. The heat of a thousand suns has burned my corneas. Oh, did we just fall in the water drunk? That's not good. That's how you die. Oh, hi. Oh. Thank you. I'm dead, aren't I? I need that to call mom and dad and tell them that I'm dead. What just happened? Where am I? I need to get to dry land, but there's clearly something in the water. Does my boat not work? It's only upside down. Okay, well, here we are in some weird ethereal plane with something clearly in the water. Ooh. 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 How? Oh, my. Maybe I need to lure it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, get away. Oh, what do I do? How do I? How do I? It went through the rocks. Okay, thanks. I can't run. Maybe I need to jump. Eh. <laughs> oh, a cantele. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Oh, what's this doing here? It looks broken. We should definitely play it. <gasps> oh. Oh, that is really cool. That is super cool. Ha-ha! <laughs> now we can best this beast. Interesting. What an interesting mechanic. <laughs> you can't beat me. I'm much too smart for you. I've got the magical instrument. That's all I need to succeed. Yeah, this is really cool. That's why I love games based on folklore. It's the most interesting. Oh, I was right there. Are you kidding me? I thought we left it behind. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, you can only have one open at a time, so you kind of have to do a little hopping. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. What was that thing in the water? What well, indeed? A water demon. A creature from folklore living in the water is sometimes portrayed as a beautiful woman that transforms into an ugly creature when approached. Naki is believed to snatch children and take them underwater. It is said that throwing rocks into the water and calling the creature will protect you from harm. Hmm, we could not do that. We could play an instrument, but we couldn't throw rocks. Perhaps these things 
are real. I can tell string. What? It just attached itself to the cantel. Ooh. Cantel strings. Pew. I made it across the water without getting pulled under thanks to this instrument. Broken cantelli. That's missing most of its strings. The cantel seems to have more power here, whatever this place is. I wish I knew how to play it in my hands. That's clearly out of tune and sounds a little weird. Nothing like when Grandma used to play. I wonder what it would sound like if I made it whole again. Maybe then it could be strong enough to get me out of here. Grandma could make the forest and like silent when she played. Surely that wasn't a coincidence. I have a feeling that there's more strings to be found in this place. Ooh. Can it do other things? Oh, I like this. There's this tree, this creepy tree. The tree from my dreams. Ooh, yes it is. Yes, it is the tree from your dreams, my friend. This is so freaking cool. What have we here? I need to can tell and something else. A rune. Oh, you do not belong here. I sense there is no vacuum in you. Excuse me, I thought I was strong with that. There must be a way to destroy this tree. I need to search this place for answers. Oh. The Great Oak is considered sacred in many traditions in the Finnish epic Kalvala. A tree grows so enormous that it binds together the earth and sky. A giant tree is a very common imagery in mythology. Humble Band finally succeeds to chop down the tree, setting free the skies and thus finishing the creation of the world. In Finnish ancient folklore, the Great Oak is regarded as a connection between the sky and the earth, and its bark is durable like iron. The one who defeats the tree receives infinite luck in life, love, and magic. Oh, it sounds like we could use all of that. So we need, I guess we just need to find more strings to defeat the tree. What have we here? This looks like it to be harmful. The flames feel familiar. Will-o'-wisps are usually eerie flickering lights in swamp surfaces when seen from far away. They are believed to glow near hidden treasures, especially around Midsummer's Eve. Some stories talk about mistreated children and their souls. As the origin of will-o'-wisps, others say that it's just swamp gas. Interesting. Ooh, strings. Give me, please. Ah, I a string to my instrument. Well, we have a lot of strings we actually still need to get. It's a puzzle. I knew we were trying to turn them all blue. A very, very typical kind of puzzle in mini games. What is the sensation I'm feeling? I do not know. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, oh, another puzzle. Easy, easy, easy puzzles. Don't even mess with me. I'm a master of puzzles. Oh, we almost got all the strings already. Dang. We quick. We smart. We big brain. Oh, easy. It's too easy. I mean, it's just simple, like, logic puzzle. And maybe that's why it's easy, because I'm so logical. Oh, we... We got the last two strings right here. That's the last of the strings. Somehow I feel whole again. Ooh. He says something? What is this? This is the same spiral shape I've seen before. A Jatuli maze. The Jatuli maze or garden is round stone symbol found in Finnish archipelago areas. The symbol or maze tradition is shared also elsewhere in Scandinavia and Europe and can be dated as far back in history. Some say the European maze is for capturing demons. Oh dear. Is that what we're doing? Oh! Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I did part of your thing. Half of it, I think. I don't know what we need to do over there, but I'm going to go do that now. Bye. Don't worry. Don't mind me. I'm not here to destroy you or anything. But now we've got a fully fledged instrument, and we will defeat the forces of darkness once and for all. Oh, hey, bird. What you doing up there? Oh, we're back at the cottage. Are we going to see Grandmama? 
Grandmama, are you in here? Hello, Grandma? Is it you? No answer. Um, she's getting a tan at the moment, I think. <laughs> I think that's what's going on in there. Ah, the old uh, sacrificial stone? Bring ingredients? I need to bring something here. A cupstone or sacrificial stone is a large stone or part of a bigger rock that has several cup-shaped carved dents. These man-made formations are thought to be a place of worship. People have placed grains or milk in the cups in exchange for luck or fruitful harvests. Sometimes cupstones are found near fields and crops. Rainwater gathered in the cups was considered to have healing powers. Very interesting. Oh, hi. Oh, my. Osmotar Mason O. Beer, maker of Santi, took the beads of barley, heads of hops, blades of soft grass, poured floor. I wasn't done reading that. I wasn't done reading that. Blades of soft grass pour up flare. Blades of soft grass poured floral nectar on top, so she placed all to boil unfiltered golden brew on the stone to 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 seen. Seethe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so I guess I need to bring... I need to go find some ingredients, I guess. Are the ingredients surely aren't going to be in the outhouse, right? Jar of nectar. Give me that. Ah, look at that. It's like navi in a jar. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, here's the nectar. I need to find three more. Okay. Any in the outhouse? No? Any hidden in the pile of wood? <laughs> Grandma likes to hide stuff in the freaking piles of wood. We've already established that. This is super cool. I'm really digging this. I love just getting lost in the folklore. And all this information on the folklore is really cool. What is these? Snowballs? I'll take that jar of grass. This reminds me of Grandma's old tales. Alanine is a place underneath our reality. Time and space do not matter, as Asian forces echo and offer guidance in the space of aeons. Alanine can teach us about the darker sides of ourselves and reveal hidden truths. Interesting. Makes you wonder how much of folklore is steeped in truth. I mean, it has to be, right? Maybe that's just the person to me that wants there to be more than what is on the surface of reality. <laughs> Blades of grass sprinkled. Where are the last two? Well, I'm sure we'll find them. Just be patient. Aha! 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 Hello there. I I need your jar. Ooh, what? A I'm hearing... I'm hearing noises. I need that. How do I get that? Um, jump? Can I climb this? I can. Heck yeah. Can I carry more than one jar? I don't know if I can, so I'm not going to try wasting my time doing so. It doesn't look like I can hold more than like one item at a time, and I can't put this away. There go the hops. One more to go. And I'm not. I'm sorry I'm not reading all of the journal information. There is so much to read that if I read it all, I would never get this video done. Um, I'm reading the folklore parts because, honestly, that to me is the most interesting I need that, please. Get over here, jar. <laughs> yeah, get over here. I, that's me. Hey, you can't have me. I think this is the last jar. I'm the last jar, though. I'm the last piece of the puzzle. Jar Red is the last piece of the puzzle. Okay, Grandma, I got all your drugs. Make your beer, please. That's the barley. That's all of them. Grandma, you can quit, uh, you can get out of the tanning bed now. Your drink is ready. Whoa. That is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Sati, drink it. This drink, I feel more in tune with the Cantel. Mana. Oh, see, this is like, this is like, like this, this type of folklore is where, like, fantasy comes from. And I love that. In Finnish folklore, Vaki indicates life force or stamina. Vaki may also mean magical abilities, folk, or spirit. Sometimes the word is translated to English as mana. Magical objects such as bear teeth or dew gathered during Midsummer's Night might possess powerful Vaki. Very cool. I've got mana. I'm a wizard. 
Your days are numbered, tree. I'm here to play a song for you. Did we win? Did we beat the darkness? <gasps> oh. Oh my. Oh. I think it's growing. It's definitely growing. Did we do this wrong? Did he trick us? Did you trick me? Oh. Oh, 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 is it Simon Says? Oh my gosh, it's freaking Simon Says. Oh no. I hope it doesn't get too complicated. My memory sucks. Oh no. Did I do that right? I don't know. Please don't get any more complicated because I'll never remember more than that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. The darkness binds you. Oh, wow. This is so fascinating. And it exploded. I go to it? It's all in slow motion. That's so cool. I, I don't know what I... What do I do? I have defeated it. Evil could not take root. Aren't I gifted, like, luck or something now? Oh, 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 oh. There's a, uh, the thing. The, the, um, the drawing. It's pulsating. It beckons me. I love the music and everything. Mysterious light source, touch it. Ooh, I've got goosebumps. I love this kind of stuff. Ooh. The way is made clear. Wow. I love this so much. These are literally like, these are my favorite types of indie games, these folklore games. Folklore is the oldest stories that we have. Whoa. Guess we're going in. Oh. Oh. Can you hear it? This is your can tell. I remember now. Is this grandma? Is the bird grandma? Do you see how the darkness is finally fading? I'm beginning to see the good in my life. Yes. The great oak stood against your hopes and dreams. The horizon is beginning to clear. Ah, what a great message. Your vacuum was restored by wisdoms of the past. Let it guide your choices in the future. What do you mean? I fear it is too late to change my story. It is never too late to change your story. What do you mean? The story is made of your choices. Changing it is up to you when the time comes. Am I truly free to make my own choices, or how do I make things right? Stories make the past and the present come alive. Look for the final chapter in my journal. That is Grandma. Grandma's the bird. I knew it. I'm coming, Grandma. Where's your journal? Oh, what a great message. Oh, I'm in the water. That was close. I nearly drowned. I better get... We somehow we got the boat back on shore, though. <laughs> we got drunk, almost drowned, had a vision quest, and somehow got the boat back up on shore. Something has changed here. Has it? It's the journal. And all the beer. <laughs> okay. Grandma's journal. What secrets? Songs of times that were and times never passed. Oh. Music forgotten playing again at last. You searched among blue flames and hollowed stones.
brought light into darkness and the old poems. You chose your path wisely, followed my wings, defeated the sapling. Yes. With Vaggy back home in your heart, your story shall have a fresh new start. Wow, there's a great message in this game. I was not expecting this. But that's kind of folklore, though. It's got great stories attached to it, great messages. I miss you. What if I came over to the cottage? I would like that. It was unfair what I put you through. I'll call you. I need to go my own way. I mean, without knowing the specifics of the situation of this character, these could all be the right choice. And maybe that's the whole point. There's no, like, maybe the good and right choices is subjective. Let's have them, yeah, just come on out. Let's start new. I would like that. You know the way. Forgive and forget and move on. Wow. Oh, that was so cool. I love, I love it. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. I don't know what it is about folklore and mythology that I just find endlessly fascinating. Maybe it's because like here in the US, like we don't have a mythology. We don't have really like, maybe we have some folklore, but not like, not like European folklore, not like the old, the old stories that are as old as time itself. We don't have anything like that. So maybe that's why I find these types of things, these types of stories, these types of games to be as fascinating as I do. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, please leave a comment and let me know what you guys thought of this game. Let me know what you guys think about folklore, I guess. Do you, what's your favorite folklore story? I don't know what mine is. I like it all. It's all interesting. It all has different stories to tell and lessons to be learned. If you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing because there's more games like this where this came from. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.